ready? Go ahead. Today I am going to be playing around with the colour scheme, but not the palette, of the Vintage Rose Give Me Glow Cosmetics palette. And the reason why I'm doing this palette is because when I saw the colour scheme online of this palette, the Vintage Rose palette, I loved it. I absolutely love the colour scheme of this palette. And I'll put a picture in so you can see which palette I'm talking about. And I love flowers and I love those I love pink and green together. I'm wearing pink and green on my shirt today. <laughs> and I just really enjoy the colour story of this palette. And I can't buy this palette. It's I haven't even looked online whether they ship to New Zealand, but um, I didn't want to be tempted because it, it's just out of my budget at the moment. And so I thought, well, how much would I play with pink and green if it was a palette like that? And what have I already got that I can play with? So that's, that's what I did. And I put all the colours together that I thought I might like to use, the pinks and the greens and things. And I did one look, which I will show you. And then after I did one look, I felt like I kind of strayed off path of what I was trying to do and so I redid the palette and I will show you redoing the palette so I'm not gonna hold up the palette now because I redo it <laughs> so I am wearing the palette right now that I made and um, let's get into the first look so look one trying out the colors from the vintage rose palette my kind of interpretation of it um I think for this look i'm actually going to go in with this color here which is a very warm kind of skin type of color and i want to put it here exactly the same color as my skin <laughs> and then I want to go in with this green here, which is from the Rebel Be Ways palette. That one's called Brave. Then I think I'm going to go in with this one, which is Doma from the Classy Cake Cosmetics. And then I'm going to go into Pink Champagne from the Sofix Revolution palette. Okay, I already see a gap in my palette that I've got to remove that. That is, I want something lighter, a bit of shimmer, so that if I go in between these two colours for blending. So, I'm going to try this one, it might not be dark enough. It's almost there, it's not quite the right colour. So I'm going to go into this one. Not going to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Let's try this one. Okay, this is. You've got to be kidding me from Classy Cake. It's just a little bit deeper. But it blends in with Marina very well. I'm going to pop that in my palette as well. And I'm going to go with the Emerald green eyeliner, which needs to push up it. Okay, this side has gone the way I want it, but this side, I don't know what that side's doing. I'm going to go into 
this colour here, which is very much like this colour here, but it's just a bit more yellowy. May not make any difference, but I'm gonna give it a go. That's what I want. Probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it's just subtly a little bit warmer and it's gonna blend that green nicer, more nicely. It is actually a little bit of a shimmer that color. now and I'm just going to use my W7 strobe time and I'm going to use this highlighter here and when I say I'm going to do my highlighter I'm going to do the highlighter on my eye on the inner corner and I think I want something up here Champagne trimmer, I think. And you're probably thinking, I can't tell any difference, but I can tell the difference in real life. And I just gotta put my. Yeah, I'm nearly ready. Okay? Just about ready. Just give me another few minutes. Can you shut the door? Look, inspired by the Vintage Rose palette and on my lips I used the Maybelline Matte Touch of Spice which I think is the perfect Vintage Rose colour. So I might end up using quite a lot for this face look. So, what do you think? I like it that I, I did use a lot more um, transition-y kind of colours and creamy colours than I thought I would. Okay, so I had a little play with this palette. And um, I've added a few things to it, and I feel like now it's a mess and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to start it again. So here are some pictures of some roses to add to my inspiration. And these aren't actually vintage roses, these are David Austin English roses, which are different from just your, your old fashioned rose, but they're very similar. So that's giving me some inspiration. take everything out and start again because I feel like I ended up going very purpley with this so I was getting a little confused about what I actually wanted to do and I'm gonna go in with Nona from Classy Cat Cosmetics and it's this one here And I'm going to go in with You've Got To Be Kidding Me from Classy Cat Cosmetics as well, which is this one here. And then I'm going to use this one here, which is from the Dream With A Vision. It's called Dreamy. My writing's wearing off. I need to find a new system for writing on there because they keep wearing off. So it's just a nice pale kind of bubble gum pink. And then I'm going to use this one here, which is from the Sofix palette. Strawberry Sweet. And 
Okay, so we want a dark green. Now this one is a little bit too grey toned for what I want. I want something a little bit greener. So I'm actually going to pull in my Tribe palette from Juvia's and I'm going to use this one here. Now it's almost the same colour, which you'll see when I swap try. But it's greener. So I'm going to leave that in to remind me that that colour is there, but that's the colour that I'm actually going to use, if that makes sense. And, And then the last colour here, I'm going to use Danger from the Sofix palette. So that's kind of a deeper version of this one. So that's basically how the Vintage Rose palette is set out. That's, that's what's in it. And I had lots of other things to the side here that I had in here before. And as you can see, I was getting a little bit too purpley. So, and when I was playing with it before, I think I decided I wanted a lighter pink to go with that bubble gummy pink. So I'm going to add that in. And looking at it here, I think I want a... I do want that darker shimmery green. Do you see the difference? And I would like another green matte, but a lighter one, because when you look at roses, they have like the limey green and the medium green and then the really dark, deep greens. And I think I want to add some of that in there. Now, whether I get it out of this palette or my Paulina palette, I'm going to have a look. So I'm going to have a look at this one. I think they're going to be too bright. This one. I think this one is the colour that I want. Put it wasn't typing. So I decided to depot the dark green one and the lighter green one from the tribe palette so that I could see the whole colour story and play with it. And I also added in a matte pink, a very, very light matte pink. I don't even, I don't think you'll see it on my skin tone because it's nearly my skin tone, it's just a little bit pinker. And I think I've done one look with what I had before and these were some of the shadows that were in there and um, I was getting too purpley and I wanted to get back into these kind of pinks because they're more my my jam and um, so I'm going to do a look with these I'm not going to use these two because I had to add some alcohol into those to um, take them out to stop them cracking I got a little bit of bit of cracking around here. They're not the easiest ones to take out because they're really well glued in. But I'm going to have a play and see what other look I can do with this. going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and finish the eyes. Okay, so I've got the rest of my face on, apart from my lipstick, and I'll finish up my eyes. So, what else do I want to do? I think I'm going to put some liner on, but I'm not going to do a wing. Now, looking at this look, I feel like I want to deepen up the outside here. 
I could have gone in with that dark green. You do run the risk of it going muddy, but it would deepen up that colour, but my dark green is not dry. So I am actually pulled in another colour <laughs> from the BYS Rebel palette from Sexy, and it's just a really deep plum. Yeah, you can see how much darker that one is compared to the other. And it blends nicely with that other colour. I don't need very much of it, just a, a little bit. And I'm gonna go back into this colour here. Yeah, I'm not putting that on top of the green, I'm just putting that underneath the green. And now I'm going to do my mascara and my lipstick and I'll be back. And here is my finished look. And I used the Maybelline Touch of Spice Natural Lipstick because this colour is perfect with those colours, <laughs> I think. I used that last time in that look as well. It's been a few days since I did my last look. So tomorrow I'll do look three. Dig into the green a bit. So I'm going to go into this light green first. This way, so see what I'm doing. I'm going to go in with this colour here. And then I want to go in with this one here. Do that on the other side, and then I want to go in with some pink liner, and this is the Essence Long Lasting Liner Pink, just like this. And I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line, and then I think I'm going to go in with this one. So that's more or less what I'm going for. So I'm going to do a wing and put my um, tight black tight line on and do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and finish the eye. So here's where we're at. I put um, my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter just in my waterline just to brighten up my waterline. And I'm going to go in with a bit of this one. some green highlighter. So I'm going to go into my highlighter 2 palette from BYS and I'm going to go into Fiji which is this green one here so it's a green with a bit of a warm gold shift to it. Maybe I'll do a bit of green highlighter too. Don't know how well it will mix with it. Pinky coloured highlighter I'll put on. And now I need some mascara and lipstick. And here is where we're at. So this is look three. I quite like this one, what do you think? Okay, on my lips I just put my 
L'Oreal Colour is Shine and Insta Heaven. Just, just a little spink. And I lined my lips with my Rimmel Long Lasting Finish Pencil in Indian Pink. So if you're curious about what colours I try eyes today, so this is how I ended up my palette. And I used all the colours in the looks that I did and I thoroughly enjoyed using this colour scheme. But I'm ready to move on to something else now. So <laughs> I don't feel like I need to go and buy the Vintage Rose palette, but I absolutely love the inspiration of it. I think it, it's it's gorgeous. And today I'm wearing the two greens here. So I've got the screen from the tribe palette on the top and I've got this all over my lid and then I mix these two together to transition them. And then over the top, just in the middle here, I'll just put a bit of these two and just dabbed it on to give a bit of shine. And then I used my LA Colours Jumbo Pencil Summertime, which is a light green. And I put that on the bottom and on the inner corner. And I went over with the classy cake on here. And I did a little bit of this deep kind of burgundy colour just in there. So that's what I'm wearing for my eyes today. Nice deep green look this time. No pink today. <laughs> Apart from my lips, of course. Apart my lips, I'm just wearing my um, colour is shown from L'Oreal in 111 inch to heaven. So, yeah, my conclusions are, I love the palette, I think they did an absolutely great job on getting the colour scheme on this. I added a few colours, so after I kind of duped the palette more after the first look, I then added some colours that I felt I wanted to add in, so I wanted something deeper, and I wanted something to blend out the pink with, and I added another shimmery green in there. So I did add some, but I really enjoyed this colour scheme and I think they did a fantastic job, but I don't feel like I need to buy it. So I've satisfied my craving, I've played with the colour scheme, I know I can do looks similar to what I would do with that palette. So the, the colours and the finishes might not be exactly the same, but I can get enough of it that I don't feel like I need to go buy it, even if I could afford it. <laughs> so. So um, I think they did an awesome job, and if, if you're interested in this colour scheme and you really like it, and you don't want to dupe it from your own collection, then um, everyone I've seen who has used the palette online has um, really enjoyed it and thought it worked really well, so I have nothing bad to say about the colour scheme anyway. <laughs> I can't really speak on the actual Give Me Glow cosmetics formula because I've never used it before. It's an indie brand and um, I would encourage everyone to go and support them as much as you can. I can't afford to support them but I definitely love their colour scheme and I thought it was really inspiring and I really enjoyed it. So that is my looks with the Vintage Rose inspired colour scheme. 
So thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.